Just love and affection, no pressure or pain. Show you the real, but that's if you can hang. You're so sweet, so cute, so fresh, so clean. Your attitude is the way you do your thing. While we do it. Oh really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord. It's gonna, it's gonna be uncomfortable. Okay. Okay. Literally, I'm coming from getting that done right now. Those results should be hitting my email sometime soon. I need to finish putting these clothes up so that I'm not leaving the house in complete shambles. And uh, I need to pack my bag because I haven't even done that yet. Okay, so you see this pile is stuff that I need to actually hang up and put away. This pile though is stuff that I'm considering packing. Ooh, this dress is long. I said I wanted to bring dresses this time, which I don't know if I should do that necessarily. Oh, this is cute. My one outfit situation for Columbia was like jumpsuits. This time I'm like, well, this time's gonna be summer. Like, I'm not as scared as I necessarily was before. And I like one piece outfits, like, you know, whether it be a jumpsuit, a dress, whatever. Yeah, so I have a little bit of footage of my COVID test for people who care. I never necessarily cared to come on here and tell you, oh, how my COVID test went and, uh, and COVID this and how many tests I took and da da da. Like, because really it's none of your business. And if you're concerned about how often I've gotten tested, then maybe you should mind your business. <laughs> Right now in the U.S., you can't even leave the country unless you've gotten a COVID test. So really, I don't even have to say that I've gotten tested because you know I have. Thank God. So just thank God. What I'm doing. So I have really no idea exactly where I'm going or like how long I'm going to be staying anywhere. But I know that I leave for Egypt today. The concept is going to be life on the one way. So ultimately, traveling around to different countries and locations through purchasing cheap one-way tickets. And I'm just gonna keep doing that until I can eventually make my way back to the States. The plan is ultimately to book one-way tickets, book, 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 cheap, cheap one-way tickets. Book, 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 book until I can make my way to a location that will get me back to the States for cheap, where the United States ends up being the next cheapest place for me to go type thing. So today is April 12th. Um, I'm hoping I can get back to the States uh, by the end of July, early August. <laughs> before the summer completely and like before September for sure. I need I need to come back by August. Like <laughs> I need to come back no later than August like 10th or some shit like that. Ultimately I'm combining things that I've learned from backpacking a pandemic, balling on a budget, because I literally learn things through creating this content for you guys or for this is how free I am, whatever. Like 
I'm, I'm literally learning as I go. So I'm basically going to be combining everything I've learned from my backpacking and pandemic experiences, everything I've learned from my bottom on a budget experiences, and now taking it on to um, life on the one way and basically expanding further on the things that I've already learned. That's my plan for this year. The goal is growth, boo. The goal is growth. It's just, it's crazy because there was once a time that I had, like, backpacking a pandemic was like, I, like, I had no idea. Like, I literally, I be having no idea, like, what I'm about to do, like, what's the next move. Like, I be having no idea. Like, I literally don't be freaking knowing until I know. And when I know, it just be like, all right, do that. And then I do it. And this stuff just expands. Like, it just keeps, do, 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 do. Like, okay, now do this, do, 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 do. It's like, a path just gets more and more laid out. Like sometimes I struggle because I feel like this is how free I am. It's like a like it's something that I, I have to figure out, like in regard to like branding, whatever, or like you know promoting whatever. But really, I it, it gets hard because I don't know what I'm promoting, and like I don't. There's not really much to promote other than love, community, and support. Like. That's it, just like support each other. Um, let's collaborate, let's work together. And I love the concept of having something that everyone can contribute to so long as they want to. Like, it's just all about contributing what you think you have to contribute. Like, this is how free I am as the table. Bring whatever you please. And it's not like begging you to bring anything, but just like whatever you please to bring, bring it. Ultimately, like let's let's do what we already do, but like in a more free state. Like let's free our minds in the process. This is how free I am, I feel, defines itself. And whenever I try to define it, I just, you know, stress myself out because it defines itself. I think this is how free I am maybe like operates through me, just like through the way I move in general, but ultimately I like I really don't know. <laughs> I just be out here doing what feels right, honestly, so. Y'all, when I tell you I had to pack so fast, this, you would think, like I probably booked this ticket maybe two, three weeks ago. I just feel like I should be more prepared than I am. I just barely put all my clothes up and I still had some clothes left because I still had to unpack my bag from freaking LA, y'all. So I retired the Savage Jacket. I didn't retire her. I just started to give her a break because I feel like I've been doing a lot with her. Like she just needs a second to just breathe in the closet, relax, and like be left alone. I wore this in Mexico. Um, I decided to bring this for this adventure. I was like, I want another jacket, like a statement jacket. It's 2.33, my flight starts boarding at 3.30. So as long as, I, this is probably the earliest I've ever been to the airport, but honestly, what I wasn't gonna do was miss this flight. I left the house a little bit of a mess. Not a whole bunch, but enough for me, to, for it to sit on my brain a little bit and then kind of be like, you could have done better. I know I'm getting better because I made it a point to be here on time. I think, I know it's, you know, there's growth, progress in the right direction because I'm here. Like, it's 2.30 and my flight doesn't start boarding until 3.30. And it doesn't start boarding until 3.30. It leaves at 4.10. I'm proud of myself, you know. The house is a mess, but I'm glad that I was able to say, look, what needs to be done? Like, what is important, you know? So I didn't set my shoes right and I put hella glitter on these shoes, which is why I wanted to set them. Oh, I didn't show you guys. Well, they aren't done. I need to complete the little clip thingy because I think that's cute that they give you that. And I had got these little, because they're Air Force Ones, so you know how Air Force Ones has the AF1 little, what they call it, key tag or whatever. I looked them up on Amazon and I found some really cute ones with like, it's like, it's like a little cute set and it says be a warrior not a warrior type shit and i got those because i was going to replace the little af1 uh shoelace thingy with those but i don't know where they are i either left them at my godmom's house or my mom's house it's one of the two so basically i'm looking forward to that to coming back and um being able to add those to my shoes it's like a you know, like a Girl Scout patch. So I'm gonna use that as my motto. 
this is just a quick short story <laughs> when i was in high school my aunt she gave me this uh like plaque for i don't know if it was for christmas i think it was for christmas it was for christmas or my birthday one of the two it's like a little thing that you hang up in your room and it was glittery as gold glitter and i still have to this day it says she who leaves a trail of glitter is never forgotten really this year i've been leaving a trail of glitter everywhere now that i really think about it because like my birthday shoot i covered my body in glitter and that glitter is glitter everywhere it's glitter everywhere it's still glitter everywhere it's still glitter everywhere and i've only added to that with these freaking shoes but yeah she who leaves a trail of glitter is never forgotten and this year man i've been fucking with the glitter i need to leave it alone honestly but yeah i just thought that, that was beautiful like those things just came to my mind and i was like wow wow like i just i don't i don't know i can't help but take everything as like a universal sign or something <laughs> uh, yeah okay goodbye